Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues today. We head to California. It's a little earlier in the day out there than it is here in Central Time Zone. But we want to talk about Moore Park. They've been without one of its, well, perhaps the most successful athletic program in its history. They've been without that program for eight years. Well, that's all going to change this fall as uh, Moore Park reinstated its wrestling program and they resume competition here to talk about it is the new head coach, Lindley Kissler. Lindley, welcome back. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Taking a good look at uh, the roster, it looks like you got about 16 active athletes on there. How has the hunt been for athletes? Have been the, they've been knocking down the door there. Are you going after them? Well, at this point, we, we have what we have. Um, you know, the class is closed. So we have 16 motivated kids. You know, they uh, are uh, doing very, very well. They bought into our, our coaching philosophy. Keep in mind, they're coming from, you know, different uh, grounds, different skill levels, uh, different coaching philosophies. So, you know, it's trying to, for our success, is to unite them under one philosophy, and they bought into that. And, um, you know, we see successes and failures each week, but they continue to grow and get better. And uh, it's just something to, to, to work on. And this is new. I mean, many of these kids haven't gone to college. So, you know, just making the transition into college, both academic and, and wrestling wise, is tough. And as coaches, you know, we haven't coached on the college level. We've wrestled in college. We've coached in high school. So we're we're in that transition as well. But uh, at this point, they're motivated. They believe in what we're doing, and they have had success already. We're we're two and five, or one and two in our conference, and we hope to be, you know, at a positive three and two for our small conference. And talk to us about the conference. Uh, who are some of those that are in it? Well, we we are really going to get better. Uh, these kids think about them. all 16, four, three fourths of them have only started uh, our wrestling team of uh, just over a month. And in that time, we went to Bakersfield and we had uh, three uh, dual meets, uh, of which uh, we beat Santa Ana. We, we lost to um, uh, Bakersfield, the really stout with talent, and also um, West Hills. So we lost uh, two of our conferences there right up front, but we're we're each week we're a totally different team, totally different team. Uh, we took on Cuesta. We we uh, oh god, what an exciting match! Came down the last match, we're up by four points. We won the Elbiter by one point, and uh, now we come in and we're hosting um, uh, Palomar which will be good. That's kind of out of our our small conference, but we will be going to East LA and Victor Valley as well to finish that small conference the, uh, tour. Yeah, and Coach, you know, when you think yeah. about it, hitting the ground running as you are in such a very short period of time, it's almost a Herculean feat uh, in that, you know, where you didn't have kids, I'm not sure where you stood on uniforms, but there are a lot of things that needed to happen in order for this to, uh, uh, to work. And by golly, you've balanced it with your regular job. Uh, Athletic Director Vance Manakis uh, is thrilled that uh, you guys are as active this early and uh, already showing signs of improvement. Yeah, well, we're real we're real lucky because we do have the support of our administration at Moore Park. Not only just getting the program, but they had purchased uh, before we even got announced. They had two mats, uh, they had uh, workout gear, and also our, our uniforms. So we didn't have to panic and go through that. We're all learning. The administration is as well, and um, so they help prepare us on that. And then for the media. We were lucky from the media standpoint so that, you know, the high, the high school kids were out of school. So we weren't able to really recruit this year. So it was really word of mouth as a team that we're working with right now. Well, that's great. So the media really yeah. was helpful in getting the word out. This is really the only program, that surely the only JUCO program. I think it may be the only program in the county uh, that offers the sport. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much down to uh, just short of LA, San, San Fernando Valley, and then up uh, through Ventura, Santa Barbara. Wow. Coach, this is a, is a huge deal. I know you guys uh, are always going to be fundraising, and there's uh, probably an active GoFundMe page already, but uh, it's, it's just real cool that uh, the 
the college has thought enough of the sport to not only bring it back, but to seek out its former greatness. I mean, you guys were one of the best in the country uh, once upon a time, and I know that uh, surely on campus they're looking for uh, victories. Those banners still hang high in uh, at Raider Pavilion, don't they? Yep, yep they uh, they they're haunting us right now, but. We have we have small expectations at this point. It's really just execution on what we practice every day in the in the practice room, uh, winning common common positions and and uh, believing in uh, effort. Uh, in college, you, you're really exhibiting effort and passion. You can overcome the talent. All the other teams have more talent than us, but we've been able to be competitive. And we've been winning as well, and we're going to get more and more competitive as each week goes on. We'll be a total different team by the end of this uh, at the end of this year. Coach, so. let's switch gears just for a minute, if yeah. we can. Talking family, it was uh, recently uh, your your brother Marty uh, came back to Iowa, and uh, at, on the campus of the University of Iowa, uh, he was uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame. Um, and it was a, a, a tremendous weekend. I know our own Joey Krebs was uh, along to record uh, with pictures and whatnot. I think you were there too as well, right? No, unfortunately I wasn't. Uh, I'm very proud of my brother. Uh, you know, we bumped together. We wrestled. We were wrestling partners together. And I'm just so, so proud of what he's been able to accomplish in his feet. And, um, you know, he just leads others. I wish I was there, but I was taking care of business, the hydration, the getting uh, transcripts in for you know, my wrestlers, and uh, it was a Herculean fit, feat, uh, to say the least. So I, I really was remiss in not being there, and I know Dan Gable gave me a lot of crap for it. <laughs> uh, but my brother knows in, in spirit and heart I, I was there for him, and I've always been there for him and always will. How special was that for him, not only to receive the initial phone call, but to uh, make the trek back to the campus in Iowa City. Yeah, we didn't know what to expect, but uh, as my mom went back with him and he brought one of his uh, daughters, uh, he was just thrilled. He was back in his environment. You know, he's been uh, somewhat shell-shocked in, in life a little bit, but, uh, you know, he's uh, he's a challenger and, and he was courageous, but uh, he really, really enjoyed it. Um, he, was, he was awestruck of how well... Uh, the Iowa and the Hawkeyes uh, took good care of them, and um, you know the the whole event was just uh, was um, overwhelming for him. I think, but he just uh, engrossed it, and he was back in his element as he was back as a Hawkeye wrestler. Well, the Hawkeyes have a great, uh, yeah. great, great memories of the Kisslers, and a whole lot of points were scored. But more than anything, that Kissler contingent was a uh, was a handful indeed on the mat, off the mat, in the classroom, an important part of the Hawkeye legacy. Our guest uh, this morning, Lindley Kissler, is the new head coach of Moore Park. Already had uh, three opportunities on the mat. The current record coach is. Uh, we're uh, one and two in our conference, uh, looking to be three and two in our conference. Uh, we think we can uh, definitely uh, do that. And we're currently two and five overall. Getting better. Next Getting better. competition is scheduled for you this Friday, and it will be uh, Palomar comes to town. This will be your first home duel in over eight, in over eight years. Are you pretty excited about yeah. that? Oh, we're excited. We're going to fill the stands. That gym's going to be packed. Bunch of enthusiasm, a lot of optimism uh, as it goes. Uh, you're going to have a lot of the wrestling community. They're going to be watching our team wrestle and compete. Many of them are going to be their ex-coaches, their teammates, or local rivals. And so they're just going to be imagining whether or not they can participate or be part of a team like Moore Park. So it's going to be good for us. Uh, we think we match up real well with them. We have two injuries that it's going to take us out of two of the weight classes, and we have two others that... Um, on weight, hydration, et cetera. So uh, I, I know they have probably similar things to, uh, to, to wrestle around with, but I think it's going to be a very, very good match, a very close match. It'll be exciting. We have uh, some pre and post festivities uh, that are going to go on as well uh, with the alumni. So we're going to corral the alumni in there and talk about our vision and going forward with them with their support and then kind of a meet and greet afterwards so yeah we're all excited about it. have the whole family marty's coming up so we got the whole family uh -oh. uh, and then we're taking <laughs> off to santa Ana afterwards yeah, so. i was going to say you have santa Ana tournament on my... the following day yeah well how much fun is that for these kids i yeah. survived the 
I got to survive the tournament with the brothers all over the house at the same time. <laughs> all right. Uh, the, by the way, the, the, the season runs through December 9th. The state championships will take place December 9th. So uh, it goes September 9th to December 9th. And I'll tell you what, it's just been uh, a lot of fun knowing that we have somebody as able-bodied as you at the helm of the program, and you've got great support from your athletic department. But talk to me for a minute about your assistants, Jesse and Jason. Oh, I tell you, I couldn't do anything without them. You know, with my knee surgery, I have uh, Josh Cortez, who used to be in my club, and I help coach him as well. Uh, he's on the mat executing, uh, you know, the moves, how to win the most common positions and technique for the kids and, um, you know, coalescing the kids more at their their age. So he has a great relationship with him. And then you just got Buck. Buck's just so awesome. He's, a, you know, head coach at Oxnard. He understands the, the hydration, the paperwork. Uh, he's just a, an excellent communicator. And, uh, you know, as we transition as coaches into the college realm, we had to get together and make sure that we're saying the same things, uh, calling the moves the same way, and, uh, you know, putting one communication out to them. But uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't do it without them. They've just been phenomenal. Lindley, we appreciate you taking the time to join us and update us. Best to you and the staff and, of course, the athletes on a successful season. Scott, back to you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. For all of us to take down on Scott Kelly, a very special guest on the Nike Hot Seat today, Lindley Kessler, the head coach of the new Look More Park College Raiders in California, part of that fabulous JUCO system in the state of California.